Hey guys, this morning I decided to try out vlogging on exactly this camera, the Leica SO2S. Many of you asked me if I could do it, and to be honest, I was curious myself if it works. So I tried it, and while I was doing it, I figured out I need a new camera. It all started like this. Good morning, guys. I'm not too excited today because I have to clean up this mess here. And with this mess, I mean my office. But it snowed outside and I decided to do all this mess later and go out because I want to shoot a few pictures of my little doggy dog. Meet Molly. <laughs> So I guess, to be honest, I wanted to vlog a bit more outside, but there are so many people out here. I mean, I completely understand it because it's very nice with all that snow. But I at least wanted to demonstrate to you if the autofocus is working with an ND filter on and outside. So uh, yeah, don't know. I have uh, eye autofocus on all the time. Hope it works. Hope arm and focus. I hope you can see. Beautiful, beautiful landscape here. Everything is full of snow. Molly loves it. So as I said, many people out there, I almost didn't find a place where I could shoot, but I got one or two good shots of Molly. But at least she liked it. It was very beautiful outside. I want to say a few things to the autofocus because I didn't have many chances to vlog and to show you how good it is or how bad. It's actually pretty usable, but sometimes it's a bit weird because it recognizes my face and it shows the yellow, uh, yeah, the yellow signs that it has my face, but it doesn't focus. It's almost as if it forgets to focus. It's very strange because if you uh, press the, the shutter button, it does it without any problem. It's like you have to remind the camera, hey, you got him, focus on him. The autofocus is not that bad. I mean, I'm using it right now, so <laughs> you tell me, does it work or am I blurry like hell? Oh, have you ever asked yourself what's the best tripod on the market? This is it, Sackler Flowtech. Why well, haven't made a video about it? Because not enough people care about a tripod. So there's one thing many people think is a KO criteria for vlogging on the Leica. And that is that it has no flip out screen. I don't know why, but if you ask what a camera for vlogging has to have, everyone says a flip out screen. And I kind of get it because it is helpful to see how your picture will look. But let's be honest, if you're vlogging, you're talking to camera, you can't always look on the display. It would look weird, right? I mean, if I say, hey guys, welcome to this video. It's another beautiful day in Germany. Let's explore whatever. It looks weird, right? Because I'm looking away from the camera and away from you. And that's distracting, I think. The only reason why I need a flip out screen is to check the focus. And I think the Leica has one very good thing that is even better, I would say. And that's that. This is the app for this camera. And the beautiful thing is it just works. You can control the camera with it. You see the picture. I mean, it's much bigger than any flip screen. Those flip screens are so tiny. You can't really check if you're in focus. You have to rely that the autofocus works. But I think that is even better than a flip out screen. I always get soft boxes like these. Nothing better than easy to open and easy to close soft boxes. I hate those things where you have to put those sticks in and out and it takes for hours. And you get it never done. Easy as that. Great. As I was cleaning my room, I stumbled across a problem and that is I have too much gear. I have too much cameras, too much camera bodies because I don't use these three Sony bodies anymore. Sometimes I use this A7 III as a C cam maybe, but the A702 didn't use it for a year. This is my black magic. 
The Blackmagic is a great camera. I mean, of course, it doesn't have autofocus and things like that, but it's a cinema camera. The footage that comes out of this camera is so good, even the Leica doesn't come close. And the Leica is the camera that's filming me right now, and it is great. I love it. It's a camera I enjoy using the most. It is my everyday work, because this camera will stay. But if you have too much gear, I think there has something to go, right? I do need a second camera for my Leica. I can't only work with the Blackmagic and the Leica and say, okay, t t those three go and I don't know. Yeah, take a few thousand bucks and have a good day. No, I need a second camera. And the question is, which one? I don't know, but definitely a few of this body have to go. Not all. The only Sony camera that will stay is the first one, this A7. Why? Well, I guess it's because I have sentimental feelings for it. It was my first camera. It started my career. And I think what is very important too, it started the hype. This camera is a pioneer. This was the first mirrorless camera that came out. And with that said, I think these two cameras have to go. Lenses, maybe the Sigma, I don't know. Which camera I will buy? I will see in the future. You can guess in the comments. But with that said, let's finish this video. Is the Leica a camera I would recommend to you as a flying camera? No, absolutely not, of course. I mean, it's there, there are many cameras out there that are better. Uh, buy an A7 IV, the Lumix S5 II, Canon I don't know. They're all cheaper, they have better autofocus. They have the flip screen, which is nice to have, even if I said that this camera app is great and the flip screen, yeah, it's more convenient. So, no, can you vlog on it? Is it doable? Is it usable? Yeah, definitely. And I like it. Will I vlog more on it? Yeah, I think so, because I like vlogging. It was the first time for me. So, yeah, why not? I have the Leica. I wouldn't buy it if I just had to buy a vlogging camera. And with that said, thanks for watching the video. See ya, bye.